Kupanut Sato Tsubong and nice inside pass and that is a familiar escape route uh, that Enrico Villanueva utilizes. Ball screen for Tony coming from Enrico Villanueva with the roll to the basket resulting to the first two free throws here for Enrico Villanueva who normally starts out the game for the Gin Kings but with the entry definitely of Rudy Hatfield, frontline rotation, power forward rotation of the Gin Kings will definitely be altered at uh, Alamo, an abundance of good small players yes. for Hinebra but with the entry of Rudy Hatfield definitely he will bring a different dimension to the game of the Gin Kings and it would be nice to be seeing uh, Rudy Hatfield play against the likes of Mark Pingris and Rico Meyer Hoffer and even Rafa Rivis. We've got a collection of teams actually bunched together uh, with one loss apiece. They are Coca-Cola, San Miguel, Reno Shine, and Barangay Ginebra. And so there's going to be some changes over yes. the weekend as we continue to celebrate the 35th season of the PBA this year. That ball is lost. Crowd into the ball game. Looking inside, Tubit says, I won't try. Uy, may mukha may masayang extra step pero hindi tinawagan in the meantime attack four quick points here in the first quarter for Inebra and pretty much the same thing that they start they, they, they did start against Coca-Cola Jai Lewis with the most casual of jumpers Lewis in the first two games had 17 points apiece then in the win against Morocco 20 and didn't play for the majority for the fourth quarter sat out the last six minutes of the fourth quarter building a comfortable lead and normally Jai Lewis will opt to take that shot if he comes from the trail post position but here we see started turning the ball over 6-3 to three here in favor of Hinebra Coach Ronnie Barangay never seems to like going out of town. There are some teams that can't win in certain venues. Is there a different preparation when you prepare the team for going out of town? Um, you try to uh, replicate the routine, of course, that you uh, have here in Manila. But definitely the reason why Hinebra has had a lot of wins in her out of town sorties is the fact that they rely and they feed so much from the energy of the crowd. And anytime you go out of town, ah, okay. Hinebra is such a popular team with a large following. At alam nila that they are expected to perform and they are expected to do well. And they have responded positively all throughout the last two or three years. Having, I think, the best winning percentage among all of the teams in playing out of town games. Will on the other end and quickly on the other end, Mercado with a reply. With 9.48 remaining in the opening period. Solomon Mercado and Gabe Norwood together with uh, J. Reyes will continue to be the cornerstones of this young franchise. And even if you have the heavyweight giant Lewis in your fold, definitely you need the eight games of Mercado, Gabe Norwood, and J. Reyes if you want to contend and yes. compete against the elite teams here in the PBA. Mercado failing to make the plus one situation. Mercado had 13 points against uh, Talk and Text and has games of 19 and 11 nothing below double digits for him so far you can uh, just uh, look back at the way he played the quarterfinal series against Beerfoods where he really dominated oh, that, was quite a that matchup and uh, I really saw the best of uh, Solomon Mercado in his young career in that series against uh, the Tender Juicy Giants Story climbing on that ladder he has collected 6 of the 10 points by the Barangay here in this first quarter outside the 10 Lewis this one won't bite Story lead pass back pass is taken away into the corner we go big man on the hook yes that's a nice move coming from JL Reyes Attacking in transition, not setting for the outside shot, instead pushing it really deep with a nice left-handed hook. 10-7 here for Hinebra here in the first. Nice footwork here coming from JRS and uh, something that uh, you'd like your big man really to possess is that nice left or right jump hook. Kailangan ano yung part of your repertoire. repertoire. Love those words, huh? ambiance. Ratatouille, ratatouille. Yeah, Pag may rata. <laughs> Kung di mo birthday ka, okay. bukas, hindi kita ano yun. Ha? Kaya si Richard, ini, hindi makaganyan. Nakaiwas, nakaiwas, nakaiwas. Adyan, 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 sa tabi-tabi. Samantala, J.R. Reyes uh, has had a good uh, conference so far. Yep, he struggled in the last conference in the last Philippine Cup. Definitely not a good conference for him, but ito, good start for him. And as a result, 2-1 ang Rain or Shine here in this present Fiesta Cup. 15 points against uh, Baraco when they won against that team. In the meantime, the isolation play. Pull up. That won't work for Helderbrand. 
Cavillo's version, no bite, and is in the hands of Mercado. Saul looks ahead. Too many white shirts. 8.35 to go. Inside we go. Big man on the hook. This one will not circle in, and the rebound picked up by Story. Better defense for Enrico Villanueva, not giving the inside position, not giving a deep entry for Jerez in the shaded area. Story with his fourth rebound. In the meantime, there's a call before the attempt. The likes of JJ Helter, Brandon, Mark I'm sure they will be happy with the entry of Rudy Hatfield. Definitely when they get more rebounds, they can fuel their running game, and they really thrive in scoring in the open court. Let's see how well these three guys will continue to uh, perform in the fact that they get reunited for the first time after oh, a long while. Oh, that is definitely good news for the legions of the Inebra That's fans. correct. At least a, what seems like a very healthy team altogether again. In the meantime, missed by Villanueva. Lewis picked up that rebound. Here comes Mercado, what he does best. Probably the best finisher in the open court, arguably in quotation marks. And Mercado has fired five points here in the first quarter. What you really have to do is jam that ball, but that's easier said than done. That is too quick. Mercado has it. This pop from the outside won't stay down. And the rebound picked up quickly by the masked marauder known as T.Y. Tan. Wow. Should be left the left should get up here. No. That will work. The sun shining brightly in Victorious. Mercado with a good start. Second three-point basket here for Rain or Shine. Just like that, they are in the lead by three points. A fast-moving opening quarter, now down to 7 and 20. Penetration will work. Villanueva challenging the defense of Jai Lewis. Six quick points here for Enrico Villanueva for the Jim Kings. There is a battle going on both inside as well as in the guard position with Mercado providing the scoring shot. For rain or shine outside the 10 by Tang, it won't bite from three point country story uncontested. That's his fifth rebound, but it's taken away quickly. Penetration, that's not it. Offensive minded in the last three games, first two points of the ball game for one time rookie of the year, Gabe Norwood. Gantanan nilalaro nito si Norwood this conference talaga. No game uh, in single digits, 16, 19, and 15 in terms of scoring in the first three games. And T.Y. Tang, and T. Tang whistled for that. You really like to see J.J. Helter Band attacking the basket more. Sometimes he fails to point it up with a three-point shot. This is a tall guard. This is a quick an energetic player who has that very explosive first step and that size advantage over T.Y. Tang will hold him in good stead. To see Helter Brun actually recuperating ito eh, di ba? Matagal nung last conference natin, hindi rin nakalaro ito masyado eh. Tapos si Kagiwa, late din na rin, last conference din lang nakabalik. Akalain mo, siya lang ang tao rin. Siya pa nakakuha ng rebound, no? Once again, he attacks the basket, that's a mental lapse. You cannot stop playing, you cannot just assume that the ball will go inside the basket and just because of that reason, he never ties this game once again at 15. During the free throw, Ryan Aranya made his first uh, appearance on our hardwood here today. He was on the sideline already when he made that attempt. Pretty much the success of Ginebra here against Reino Shine will be... Uh, dependent really on how well they can contain Norwood and uh, Solomon Mercado from uh, trying to attack the basket. Alay mo may maong palang nagkasya kay Richard Del Rosario. Ano? <laughs> malas niya. Malas niya. Kung tayo ang magkasama ngayon. Penetration. Boy! This is a problem for Raider Chan in the low post. Especially if Story has had this way 8 points. Third the quarter for Story that's almost 50% scoring here coming from the reinforcement. Back in a moment. Hari tidak tahu lihat dari saya negro se area atau mati standings. And uh, this is what we were going to we were talking about earlier, where everybody is clustered together, Coach Ronnie. Ini adalah lagi tinuod, tuod itu. Tuod, tuod, tuod. Jersey Ace uh, leading the pack to a no, but a lot of teams, as you mentioned, only with a single loss. And these two teams will try to outmaster each other as they try to propel themselves in the tie with either Coca-Cola and San Miguel. Alaska Ace is not in a good position, but you know that this is a good squad.